Hi, today I'm going to talk about a topic and I hope you don't take it the wrong way. I want you to think about what I will say. If I'm wrong, please correct me. I swear my intention is only to show the truth. Here we go. If your dad stole money, then they arrested him, you and your kids, and the judge said that all the progeny of your father will go to jail because of his mistake. Is this justice? No, my dad who stole the money, not us. It's not our fault. And why should we repair his mistake? This is illogical and an injustice. They should punish my dad, not his family. And we should not pay for the mistake of someone else. So what about us? What I mean is the original sin, the sin of Adam. Who ate from the tree? Adam. So why did we inherit his sin? Is this justice that someone made a sin then I inherited it? But God sent his son to die for all our sins. This was his plan for our salvation. Is this a just plan? Is this the right way to forgive sins? Is there no better plan to save us from a sin that we are not responsible for? Adam made a mistake and all his progeny will inherit this sin and go to hell. Accept Jesus as your savior and you'll be free. I accepted Jesus the son of Mary as the messenger of God and I love him more than myself and more than my parents. Not for dying for a sin I'm not responsible for. But let's say that I accepted him as my savior. Why will the Muslims, Jews and all the other faiths go to hell because of the sin of Adam they didn't eat from the tree so why are they inheriting the sin even children they are born as a sinners it doesn't work but God loved the world he sent his son Jesus to save us if God really loves the world why didn't he forgive Adam and ain't everything right then it was better choice for forgiveness not to manifest himself in Jesus and die for the sin of Adam because God is just he had to punish Adam because of his mistake yeah Punish Adam, but not his progeny. It's like when I told you the judge arrested your father and his descendants for stealing the money. And why did God punish Adam with punishments that God didn't warn Adam of? What I mean is that according to the Bible, God told Adam, if you eat from that tree, you will surely die. That's what God cautioned Adam about. But what happened then? Adam was surprised that he was severely punished. Grave consequences that were more than he was warned about. First, so the Lord God banished him from the Garden of Eden to work the ground from which he had been taken. Cursed is the ground because of you. Through painful toil you will eat of it. What was the mistake of the ground that it was cursed? To the woman he said, I will greatly increase your pains in childbearing. With pain you will give birth to children. Your desire will be for your husband and he will rule over you. Why didn't all these punishments end when Jesus died for them? That's injustice that Adam was punished with consequence he wasn't warned about. For example, if there is a country where the law said, if anyone who would steal money, they would go to prison for one year. Then I went to this country and I stole money, but they sentenced me for the rest of my life. Is this justice? That's what happened to Adam. If God is fair, why did he at least warn Adam that all his progeny will inherit this sin and all these grave punishments? Is there no other way for forgiving in sin? There is, and God forgave many people without dying on the cross for our sins. Know the Lord, because they will all know me. From the least of them to the greatest, declares the Lord, for I will forgive their wickedness and will remember their sins no more. Then God blessed Noah and his son, saying to them, Be fruitful and increase in number and fill the earth. Many verses in the Bible contradict this idea. Let me show you one of them. The soul who sins is the one who will die. The son will not share the guilt of the father, nor will the father share the guilt of the son. The righteousness of the righteous man will be credited to him and the wickedness of the wicked will be charged against him. What a great verse. According to this verse, no one inherits sins. Let me tell you something. If I would tell you that I have many sins, what would be the way to remove these sins? If you would believe that Jesus was crucified for you, you would be saved. Let's continue what we've seen in Ezekiel and we'll find the correct answer. But if a wicked man turns away from all the sins he has committed and keeps all my decrees and does what is just and right, he will surely live. He will not die. None of the offenses he has committed will be remembered against him. This verse proves that 